Hi, I'm Christopher, Active Health Expert at Decathlon Singapore Lab. Today, we'll be doing some simple exercises in the office to help to alleviate common pains and aches. So this exercise is the wall rotational foot exercise. So the purpose is to increase the range of motion at the hip joint, which may be useful um, when you're sitting for long periods of time, experiencing a lot of joint stiffness and repetitive movement. To do the wall rotational foot exercise, I try to find a wall or a pillar that is slightly taller than you. And as you face the wall, put your hands on the wall at about shoulder width height, your feet about two foot away from the wall. For your other feet, you can start at the 12 o'clock direction with your feet slightly tilted inwards and draw a semicircle. And as you do so, bend your hips as well as your knees slightly. And as you go back, straighten your knees as well as your hips and repeat. This exercise is called the three-way pull apart. For this exercise, you require a light tension resistor band like this. When we are spending long periods of time slouching forward with our shoulder blades rounded in front of our computers or our phones, we may experience a periods of muscle ache or muscle soreness. This exercise will help to alleviate those soreness and back aches. To do this exercise, you will need a light tension resistant band. Firstly, make sure that you are standing feet shoulder width apart making sure that your lower back is not too arch. When holding the band, make sure to hold at both ends, making sure that your wrist, elbow, and your shoulders are straight. You can start off in the chest level position. Pull this as far back as you can without your wrist and your shoulders and your elbows bending, and come back slowly. And repeat the movement. You can also do this at your head level. as well as your waist level. If doing two bands are too difficult, you can actually only hold one side of the band to make it easier for you. When doing this exercise, the benefit of the three-way pull apart is to provide different angles to target a different part of the upper back as well as the shoulder blade muscles. Of course, when you are doing this, you have to be careful of the band. So for example, when you are pulling it apart and you are not able to straighten your elbows, one thing you can do is to actually not use the band and instead just use your hands to practice the range of motion first before beginning this exercise. Today we'll be doing an exercise known as thread the needle. This exercise is useful for increasing the range of motion on your shoulder blades, maybe due to long periods of sitting in front of the computer or using your smartphone, which may result in certain shoulder aches and shoulder pains. To do this exercise, you can find a wall or a pillar. Put your hands at shoulder width height. Bring your right hand, starting from underneath your left hand, and rotate it outwards as far back as you can. So the focus of this exercise is not to rush it, but to move your hands at a slow pace based on your individual range of motion. By putting your hands on the edge of the table, making sure that the table is stable. But things to take note when you are doing this is that this will be a more difficult variation of the thread, the needle on the wall. This exercise is called wringing the wrist and as the name suggests, you actually wring your wrist by wrapping your thumb with your middle finger or your index finger around the wrist. So the benefit of this exercise is to relieve wrist soreness or wrist aches from repetitive typing or long periods of using your handphone. To do this exercise, you can choose either your middle finger or your index finger depending on the size of your wrist. You can wrap your fingers around your wrist about one thumb below the bony part of your wrist. Squeeze it tightly and begin to rotate your arms back and forth. As you are doing this, you can actually space your fingers apart. And you, when you are doing it right, you should feel a deep massage in the ligaments of the wrist. 
Do not rush when doing this exercise. Try to do it in a slow and controlled manner as you are executing it. Due to periods of sitting and long periods of inactivity, we need to strengthen our feet and ankle muscles. This exercise is the desk feet, pronation and supination. To do this exercise, you can do it barefooted or with covered footwear. At the start, you can put your both hands on top of your thigh. You can start by bringing your feet to the outside of your foot, knees pointing outwards and pressing your hands down into the thigh. And then you can shift it to the inside of your foot and bring your knees towards each other. When doing this, be sure to bring your toes up into the sky, pointing towards the sky. When you are doing this exercise, be sure to do it slowly with control instead of rushing through it. Find a range of motion that is comfortable and suitable for your knee. When you are doing this exercise on the outside of the foot, you should feel the muscles on the arch being worked. And when you are working on the inside of the foot, you should feel the toe muscles being worked. And when you do this over a course of a few days or a few weeks, you might be able to slightly move the individual toe muscles around the feet. The benefit of doing this exercise is to actually train the muscles at the bottom of our feet as well as the toe muscles individually. As you get better at this exercise, you'll be able to individually move the toe muscles. And on top of that, this exercise will also help to train the ankle muscles that surround the ankle joint, which may be useful for people with unstable ankles or previous injury or ankle sprain. We hope you enjoyed the videos. To find out more exercises and tips, you can come down to the Active Health Lab and speak to our Active Health experts.